kweli kamua siku takona chama na kiamua takona yeye atajitapona yeye ndio chama yeye ndio chama ni ugonjwa yeye ndio chama ni uponyaji yeye ndio chama ni wana muziki so yesi kwa tamua kupona we rington we pona tu Ah, amekuwa huko uh, nini alikuwa alikuwa <laughs> Seychelles <laughs> lakini aliambia watu wako wapi ako South Africa mm. lakini sasa sisi watu tume travel sana mm. hata kama uliona post yake nikwambia baba si hapa ni Seychelles tu hapa chini yeah. so nilimuandikia hapo na ikawa ni hivyo so chama na kiamua kupona tapona kama ameamua yeye akwe mgonjwa wacha akwe mgonjwa Jalasa uh, 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 history ya politics um, what makes you stand out different from all the other people kwa sababu way before tumekuwa na you know a person like Jago when we elected thinking that he's our own na atatutetea kama wasanii na kama a young person what makes you different ai wapi wewe basi wewe ndiye hajawahi kukutetea mm -hmm. wewe endelea kuteseka hapo <laughs> kwa sababu haukutetea yeah. lakini sasa kutakuwa na sauti mingi ya vijana pale ndani mm -hmm. kutakuwa mimi Jago babu tutakuwa tu wote pale ndani mm -hmm. na usijifanye ati oh politician atakutetea mm -hmm. wewe mwenyewe unafanya nini kujitetea ukiwa hapa nje mm -hmm. that's it tumeona president uh, wa kombe kija sana akipigana sana na the former kfcbc ndio mm -hmm. kutoka kwa Ezekiel na yule kwa mmoja wenye mlikuwa kwa kikao kwa ngorisha hili wewe uchukuliaje ah uh, unajua wakati yako pia ikifika imefika imefika So Ezekiel pia sio mtu amesota. Yeye tu atafute kazi nyingine hapa afanye. Unaona kila alikuwa anasaidia? Eh, kuna wakati unajua pia kuna wakati pia wasanii pia wanazi wanazidi. Hata nyinyi vitu nyuweka online. Sasa zingine tutaongea tu hapa vizuri. Tuko miale, tumekula nini? Munaenda kubadilisha story na kutaka clickbait. Aita wasaidia. Weka tu kweli Jalango says this. Unajua kuna nyangavu anaitwa Plug TV. <laughs> Sijui kama wako hapa. Alikuwa hapa sijui anaenda. Huyo kijana ni kubafu sana. <laughs> so mambo yake tutadeal na yeye pole pole. Lakini hapo ndio Ezekiel alikuwa anasaidia pia kufanya control control. Pia sasa zingine nyinyi unajua the next big thing is online television. Watu wanawa watch sana. Just be truthful, wekeni ukweli kitu imeandikwa ndio kitu mtu amesema hata kama unatafuta clickbait unataka watu wafinye pale usiweke msichana kuuchi ndio mtu afinye usiweke jamaa ameweka kifua bure ndio mtu afinye ukifanya ni uspoa itakuwa yes. tu ni uspoa si ndio yeah. basi what if leo watu waamue since jalango amekuwa kiongozi mzuri na amekuwa kusaidia watu kabla hata yeah. hajaingia kwa yeah. ile yeah. kiti ya langata yeah. kwa muwe leo ndio ile kwa hiyo kesi ya Ezekiel itakubali yeah. hata Ezekiel hata kwa akwa na wafinya kabisa <laughs> mimi nitawafinya zaidi <laughs> <laughs> mimi nitawafinya zaidi okay the truth is we just need guys to do good reporting be truthful to your job learn the ethics be patient you don't have to put news out there to be good you don't have to abuse people to be good just be the moral kwa tu mtu 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 anataka kwenda kuona news yake unaelewa unajua youtube uko na chance ya kuweka thumbnail ya dema kwa uchi wasee wataklikwa alafu umeweka story different na kitu watu wameona pale so that you can get clickbait It will not help you. If you want to grow, just be patient, keep working hard, consistency, and that is what will grow your channel. In less than a year we are at 440,000 subscribers. Next week we will be at 500,000. In three months we will be at 1 million. And it's not a lie, it will happen. You understand? Because you are consistent, we work hard and we give the true information. Sasa hapa sasa tuko na Kaka J, tuko na Blood TV. Hii story itakuwa na different na hii na hii na hii na tumeisema tu hapa kwa nini Shida yenu ni nini? Hata nikurudisha back we. Eh tuliona comedians wengi walikuwa nalia sana au hawana doa hawana vitu kama hivyo. Inamaanisha comedians nao supportiani wao wenyewe. Mbona unataka usupportiwe? Suji support wewe mwenyewe. Mbona mlisupport Omosh? Omosh alitoka akipiga duru. Na Omosh kama rafiki yetu tuliamua wacha tumsaidie. Sumecheki hata merudi job side. Sio Mosha anafanya tu poa. Yes ndiye ataamua venye atataka. Bas sisi tuko sawa. Bas.
Does it mean msanii yote aki akilia mtamsaidia? Mta Asa hizi ukilia <laughs> naona utalia sana. <laughs> <laughs> utalia sana kabla usaidie. Alafu yeah. jalas labda swali langu ni kuulize mimi naitwa Mache kutoka TNG. Swali langu ni kwamba kuna wale wanasema amba uh, sasa hivi wewe unaenda kusimama katika wale za sasa hivi unaenda kusimama unaenda kusimama na, sio sasa hivi nimesimama tayari yeye umesimama lakini kuna wale wanasema kutokana na umaarufu wako na kazi yako ambayo unafanya zaidi ndio inafanya uweze kusimama pale je unadhani ni hiyo ama ni malengo uko nayo ni malengo niko nayo umaarufu nimekuwa nayo kwa muda mrefu miaka karibu 15 elections zimepita kama zingine sita mimi nikiwa maarufu so swali si ati ati umaarufu wangu ndio kwa sababu naenda kusimama kuna watu walikuwa nakulinganisha na pastor Peace Mwiru anasema fame huyo ni huyo ni pastor Peace Mwiru jago alikuwa famous KJ alikuwa famous ye ni MP KJ ni MP fanya research eh kuna mimi niliona imeandikwa wa mtu akiitwa interview BBC na ingine aitwa Jalas anaenda Jalas kwa sababu kuna mchango una unapatia wasedo unawachangishia sio story na dogo na sio kila mtu anakuja kwa interview za Jalas upata dogo mimi uko gatuna mafans wa wa true na ni mafans pia wanajua kusapoti watu na pia story ya mtu unaelewa na jinsi tunaweza saidia mse kama huyu jamaa anaitwa Nyamlori umenyalika kwa primary school kwa 22 years ameenda kila mahali ameenda kila mahali nikikuonyesha text amenitumia venye watu wamemchangia hata wizi ya mimi na hata job najua tapa tapata kesho tutakuwa na wale watu wanatakufinya hapa kesho tunawapatia hizo maboto bike na ninafahamu kamu muandike kesho hapa napata na moto bike ngapi mbili bai sasa sasa mko hapa na si ati ni motorbike za lasa mbaya mimi nikisema size nataka motorbike kumi zitakuja hapa kwa sababu wazao wana trust bra wanaona si ati wakilipea motorbike moja hii ndio motorbike nimewahi shika wewe wakikupea utaenda nayo kwenye unini ipote wewe utachukua motorbike uuze yana sataki motorbike kazi ni kwa na mtu pia uko na utu unaelewa unajua shida ya mtu ni nini na unamsaidia na ukisaidia mtu si lazima sasa wewe upige nduru huko hadi oh nimepatia na moto ba ah ah wacha tu kazi yako ioneka ioneka at the same time kuna wasema wanasema mbona jalango anaonyesha kile kitu anafanya si asaidia tu bila kwa sababu most of the people wenye wanatuma do wanatuma kwa kamera wanataka kuhakikisha kwa pesa yao ili ilifanya kazi kwa kitu ambayo mtu akiniletea school fees hapo ameniambia nipeleke wapi si lazima tumuonyeshe kwa school fees yako venye ulileta mm-hmm. imefika hapa mm-hmm. ndio mtu akitaka ameleta motorbike kama watu si wameleta motorbike mm-hmm. ngapi mbili mm-hmm. wanataka hizo motorbike zao zifi zifike mm-hmm. eh hivyo ndio tutakuwa tunafanya mm-hmm. wow. kuna watu wengi tunawasaidia bila kuweka kwa nini mm-hmm. ni wengi sana kwa sababu labda hiyo ni personal mm-hmm. lakini when other people are involved lazima uonyeshe kwa pesa yenyu yenye mlitoa ndio hii hapa Mm. Kwa hivyo jalango uh, before tumalizie um, juzi kuna msanii anaitwa Japesa alisema uh, kwa one of the cartels in the industry wewe unaweza kuwa ni one of them kwa sababu Mimi ni cartel mbaya. <laughs> Mimi ni cartel mbaya. Uh-huh. Yes. Kwa alisema wewe ndio una run. Uh, ulisema genge tu nimekufa na sasa tuone genge tu. Mimi ndio una run issue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ni mimi ndio una run issue. Yeah. Unajua ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe tayari imemwingia kwa ki mm. kwa kichwa. Mbona mtu kama yeye asiseme tu mimi sitaingia kwa cartel ya jalasi jala, si lazima jalasa aseme mimi ni mkali mm, mm. unajua ukianza kuingiza kitu kwa kichwa mm. kati yo leo sm ndio cartel mm. unajua nyinyi wote mta believe hivi mm. hakuna kitu kama cartel lazima ujisukume wewe mwenyewe mm. you live beyond what other people say mm-hmm. yeah jalasa kwa kubwa hapo haitu mashabiki kuna dhani wewe mtu ndio unafaa uko na station ya kwako wewe wewe uoni kabisa Auoni kabisa YouTube yangu ni station na uoni kabisa. Auoni <laughs> kabisa. Unafanya vizuri, unafanya vizuri. All right. Sasa watu wanamaanisha nini? Mainstream. The next thing the next big thing ni yo online. Mm. Unajua? Sio yeah. kwa sababu sasa hizi tumefungua kitu inaitwa YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Kama nyinyi wote sasa hizi mnafahamu kwa mshafungua channels wapi? Kwa YouTube. YouTube sasa mnaweka YouTube pia mnaweka J 
jetu so that tunaweza kuwa na multiple multiple uh, money money making uh, ways so youtube wakikulipa 10000 jtube ni kulipa 10000 kuna 20 si ndio that's what we need we need more spaces for everybody to we nimekuona tayari mm. umefungua channel yako mm. jtube yeah. umefungua we ni maswali tu hapa <laughs> siku moja ukasema jalasi ni katel sasa <laughs> hizi kuna chance ya kufungua au jafungua mm. au jalasi anakotoa a a fungua channel yako pale so that uweke youtube uweke jtube and jtube is the next biggest thing jtube is the next biggest biggest thing just like you open your youtube you can also open jtube jtube simple j for jalas jalas tube si lazima siku zote tunapatiana doki la pale lakini fungulia watu wengi wa pia wako kule that's why i don't know why you people are even asking me anything and you are not on jtube is it interview eh tofauti ya jtube ya sasa ni gani sijui hivi sasa sijui hivi sasa sijawahi weka content huko sijawahi fuatilia so nikisema naweza compare kitu sijui na kitu najua nitakuwa na danga so i think the last kitu unajaribu kuuliza ni how will someone make money from jtube is it through views or number one number one adverts kwa sababu sisi tunaenda kuweka unskippable mm. adverts mm-hmm. so that client akiweka advert yake kwa SM ama KKJ ama TV ako sure mm-hmm. mtu ataiona haitakuwa na ile youtube skip advert ama mm. itakuwa ni lazima uone hiyo advert mm. <laughs> ndio uone vi mm. uone video mm. na hapo ndio utakuwa na make do yako tukimalizia uh-huh. unasoli wewe uliza watu mm. Lakini sasa leo nataka ulifulize na lazima ujibu. Kuna show ya masauti na utile utaenda gani? <laughs> <laughs> Kuna show ya masauti na utile. Lazima ma masauti ni your boy. Ehe. Na utile pia ni kijana wangu. Hiyo siku sitaenda show yote. Lazima uchague moja. Hiyo siku siezi enda show yote. Lakini nitaenda kwa show ya utile kwa sababu utile sasa hii tayari amekoma na masauti is growing. Okay? So nita, hata nitaambia masauti cancel your show mm. tuende tuone <laughs> show ya utile yeah. Yeah. next ukifanya yako mm. kubwa kama ya utile mm. na masauti ni kijana wangu mlianza ujinga ati oh mimi niko na vifu na masauti naweza hata mpigia size mkisikia mm. huyo mm. ni kijana wangu masauti is my very good thing sina credit sana na so tumekuwa tukiona kwamba umekuwa ukisaidia wasanii wengi sana kutoa wasanii wengi kuna mwingine maybe tutarajie so na wasanii wako wengi size nataka kuanza kazi na madini classic Madini Classic is the next big thing mm. and I want you guys to really watch out that boy. Hivi mm. karibuni ndio na juzi mkipiga kelele eti watu wamemnyamazia sana. Huyo kijana ni mkali sana. Mm-hmm. Uh, ni kijana mkali mm-hmm. na soon and very soon people will have respect to that boy. Mm. Mm. Ndio hiyo masauti si mko nataka yeah. masauti. Wacha tu. Ali VP. Niko na vijana hapa wa online media. Wameniandama hapa wanasema mimi na wewe tuliko sana. Hapana. Eh? Mbona mbona wanapenda kuuliza hii swali? Sijui kwa nini yani. Wewe ndio ulienda kuambia tumeko sana, si ndio? Sijui kwa nini watu wanasema hivyo. Endelea na kazi nzuri, sawa bro? Sasa msalimie mama Aya, na mtoto. Aya. Ni nini inawasumbua? <laughs> <laughs> ni nini inawasumbua gani? <laughs> so <laughs> ni hivyo, si ndio? Umeona sasa? Yeah. Mimi nasema sauti hatuna shida. Naweza mpigia anytime. Lakini kitu moja nilimwambia, yeah. naweza kukushikilia mkono. Yeah. Nelea. Yeah. Lakini tafika siku lazima ni kuo. Ni kuachilie ndio mtu mwingine pia apate nafasi Shikwe, apate nafa, mm. apate nafasi jelas hapo mm. tu kwa kushikilia wasanii kuna msanii mwenye huyu kusaidia hapa ndani anaitwa na coach mm. okay uh, mbona ushikilia madini sina coach na na coach kila mtu na time yake uh-huh. na coach alikuja tu kama mtu ana anataka fanyiwe interview uli watch interview na coach yeah ilikuwa poa ikuwa poa ilikuwa poa sasa hizi si anafanya sound hapa yeah. Sasa yeye ni msanii na bado anafanya sound. Mm. Akuna kazi mbili ama moja. 
Ndio <laughs> Willi Paul na Bahati wamefanya nini? Utaenda show ya nani? Ah, Willi Paul na Bahati. Yeah. Ah, nitaenda kwa show ya Willi Paul. Sababu? Pozeni mbaya. Pozeni mbaya. Bahati unajua anafanya vitu mbovu. Mm. Bahati sasa hizi ame branch kwa vitu mbovu. Yeye ni actor. Mm. Yeye ni yeye ni entrepreneur. Yeah. Sasa hizi unajua Willi Paul bado anajisukuma na yeye anataka tu kwenda kuona what next what next. Okay. Mm. Okay, Willi Paul, Willi Paul hako na msanii amesign mm. na wame, anaitwa Clones mm. na wamekuwa wakibishana sana wana kijana sana na masterpiece. Mm. Na ndio bado Clones anaanza na masterpiece of course na fahamu wamekuwa hapo mm. sana. Mm. Unaweza mu advice nini? Ukwaga shida kuongea juu ya watu si wajui. Mm. Ndio maana nimekueleza wanapigana wasipigane <laughs> wafanye kazi mm. umesema Willy Paul utaenda shirika kwa sababu wewe ni official MC, MC wake au asi ah uh, Willy Paul si ati mimi ni official MC kwanza ako na dini yangu mingi sana <laughs> Willy Paul saizi <laughs> unajua covid imefanya mambo mingi haifanyiki <laughs> Willy Paul alikuwa ananilipa 400000 per month si ndio yeah. si ndio yes, yes. kwa sababu tulikuwa tunafanya shows kama ngapi kama kama tan in a month na kila show ilikuwa ni around uh, 180 150 so ilikuwa inakuja around 500000 mm-hmm. per month mm-hmm. lakini sasa hizi tunaumia na kijana wangu Ilipol lazima sasa serikali ifungue mm-hmm. ndio mdosi wangu aendelee kunilipa ninaumia boss wangu Ilipol nilipe baba nilipe tu haya ukitokizo na calligraph ai okto na calligraph yeah. Sasa unajua ninapanga ni show fulani mm-hmm. wapige wakiwa pamoja ndio niamue nani mka mkali. nani mkali mm-hmm. kuna loose festival mbona tujalikwa sisi watu wa online bana shida yenu mnangoja mwalikwe kwa harusi yenu uh, unajua sasa mm-hmm. shida ni harusi yenu mnangoja mwalikwe shida ni kuingia a uh-uh. mm-hmm. all the online channels yeah. watakuwa na special invite yes. delivered mm-hmm. na jina ya media mm-hmm. yeah. so waingie pale kwa whatsapp group yetu yeah. ya online media yeah. kila mtu atapata invite yake special yeah. na kutakuwa na tent yeah. special ya online media pekeni yeah. yes na uh, vip festival, festival ya ni all about ni because sijaona wasanii wakubwa pale naona kina wiko wewe unajua wewe unajua Ema Jalamo ni nani Ema Jalamo namjua nini unajua Prince Inda ni nani namfahamu wewe unajua wiko ni nani hakuna ga msanii unajua Elisha Toto Unajua wewe umesikia ngoma za kikamba mpaka <laughs> zime kikamba sasa ile show iko na the top of the top ni Luo festival so kuna wasani wengi labda wewe wajui kwa sababu labda usikia us, ngoma zao lakini Emma Jalamo Prince ndani watu wanaweza jaza hiyo place peke yao labda watu si wanaweza uliza kwa nini unafanya shows wakati kumefungwa size mimi si ati ati nafanya shows na kumefungwa ni tunafuata covid protocols hiyo mm-hmm. peke yake paka pale luo festival kutakuwa na vaccination itakuwa inaendelea we are talking with the ministry of of, uh, of health tuweke vaccination pale tuhakikishe kuwa kuna vaccination inaendelea pale yeah thank you guys we are about to start the last question chirako media hapa Mbona uja tujaona kama umeinvite hawa wasanii wajaribu kwa show yako like Musa Jakadala Kesho ni Prince Inda. Mm. Kesho ni Prince Inda. Angalia posters. Yeah. Hii month yote paka Luo Festival ifanyike tutakuwa na Prince Inda, Musa Jakadala, Elisha Toto tukipush skiza. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Tutarajia yeah. rais lini bana ulisema unataka kumhusisha. Rais amekuwa busy sana. Mm-hmm. Rais amekuwa busy. Tumeongea last week amekuwa busy. Mm-hmm. Nikampigia tena amekuwa busy. So lakini naheshimu kabisa kwa ako busy kwa sababu ya mashughuli mingi mm. but probably he will make time very soon wow thank you so much sana sana jana